Oh, great. I threw up again, didn't I? You had to throw up again, didn't you? Sorry, man. Jeez, Varric. Can you please try to stay away from the alcohol for a while? Uh, Alright. What even happened back there anyways? You passed out in the theater. Anyways, just try to stay out of trouble, Varric. Oh, yeah, and the boss wants to see you again. Something about this whole monster and little girl situation. Oops, uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. But, uh, yeah, he wants to talk to you. Okay, I said I wanted you to pick up a Big Mac at Wendy's. But, sir, Wendy's doesn't have a Big Mac. I don't care, just pick it up. Ah, sorry about that, food service employees, am I right? Take a seat, Varric. My name's pronounced Varric. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, you did a good job. You found that guy and killed him. Now Tucson is safe from that mad scientist. What was his name? Dr. Donuts? Uh... Adonuts, sir. Close enough. But, uh, say, you don't mind going on another mission, right? Nah, of course you don't. You're a bounty hunter. That's what you do. You didn't even let me answer that question. Okay. And? Your choices don't matter. I'm paying you, so you're gonna do what I tell you to. Alright, let's get down to business. You know how I said that there's been monsters roaming around town? You know, where they don't belong. Good. You may have heard about those children disappearing. No, this isn't a Five Nights at Freddy's reference. Unnecessary detail, but okay. Alright, so this little girl ended up running away from home, and her parents can't find her. That's why I want you to find this girl. And why do you suddenly care about this little girl? Because if she doesn't get found, then that means the town's gonna get into more of a panic. And that means I won't be the mayor anymore. I know that sounds like a huge jump of events, but this will cost me my job. Okay, jeez. Anyways, that girl was last seen by that large cavern on the east side of Tucson. I'm sure you've heard of it, right? It's the place where people never come back. Anyone who steps foot in there will never be seen again. There's been records of at least seven people going missing there. I think only one managed to actually escape. Hell, I think it was an actual child. But who knows what happened to that little runt. But hey, if a pesky kid could get out, then I'm sure you can too. It can't be a big deal, right? I thought so. Oh, and a little advice. Buy a ladder at Home Depot. Uh, I think I'll be good. Thanks. Phew! Mamma mia! Can I please stop playing as the mayor now? Yes, Mario, you're free to go. Wahoo! So. This must be the cavern that old geezer was talking about. Welp, I guess I have no other choice but to go down there. Alright, you little girl. I'm coming down there to get ya. Uh, you better not be... What do people do in the underground? Die? You better not die down there. Uh... Because if you do, I won't get any money. And I'll, I'll probably get into a lot of trouble with Mario. Why is the camera still focusing on me? Aren't we just gonna cut to the next scene where I jump down? 
Suddenly, an earthquake happened. Oh crap. Oh crap, this is just like the intro in the first Brandish game. Oh! Oh no, I'm falling! Ah! Oh!